It's a BMW day today at Pentagram Motorsport. We're getting this 3 Series back on the road. A couple of jobs we've got to do, including changing the front springs because one of them snapped and an ABS sensor on the front. Let me just bring you in and have a look at this. And you can see how dangerous this really could have been. Just look at this. This is part of the spring that had snapped and was actually dragging across the inside of the tire, I suspect. Oh, that's lovely and sharp. The rest of the spring is just hanging in the air with that big spiky end. Oh, imagine if that spun around and dug in the inside of the tire. That would have been very dangerous. Now I believe he's supposed to compress these springs to get them off and obviously remove the top mounts but it looks like I can just take this one off the car without even releasing the top mount. That seems like it's broken in several places. There's a piece up there, a piece there and obviously the other bit that we took out before. To give us enough swing to get the strut out I'm going to disconnect this bolt because it's got the anti-roll bar link attached to it. This bolt here holds the body of the damp there into the hub. And then what we may have to do down here is loosen these bottom arms so that we can get enough swing to pull the damper assembly forward and off the car. Because I'm not a miracle worker, but I know some stuff that is, I'm gonna clean these bolts down, take the excess off them with a little wire brush, and I'm gonna hit them with the magic portion. Let that sit for a bit. Let it work its magic while we do the top mount. The top mount is secured by these three nuts here. This one's a little bit difficult to get through, so I'll probably have a spanner on that one. These two, I'm sure I can get sockets on. So I'm going to take this top of it, drop link out for the anti roll bar. There's a 17 mil uh, nut cutting on the back of this, and then it's a 16 mil on the front. So that 17 will actually let you hold that in place while you take this nut off. Which is good because I know some cars don't have that at all and if they spin, you're in nowhere city. And there's the damper off. With the three bolts undone from the top mounts, what we then did, loosen the bolts where the bottom arm bolts into the body of the car at the front and on the rear arm. Didn't even have to take the bolts out, they're still in there, just loosened. And that was enough to allow me to press down on here gently and this whole assembly popped right out like that and see how ruined this suspension spring is. So all it's left to do now in the top cap here is this little rubber cover. Inside of there will be a little 19 mil bolt. Put that top cap away. We undo that there. There's an Allen key head in there and then a recessed, I suspect that's a 19. This will come off and then we can get to the spring. One quick word of warning here. Obviously I'm popping this top mount off. This string is in three pieces, there's no tension on there. If this was a standard spring and it was at its full extent, you would have to clamp that, put compressors on it, whatever, before you remove this. Otherwise, it'll turn this into a ballistic missile. Now that nuts off, the whole top mount assembly moves off. And then we can get the spring. Being careful not to damage the paintwork of the car in the process. There's a damper with all the spring assembly stripped off it. And this is the length that the, the free length that the spring should be. This is the new spring. We obviously need to compress this down and then we can put the top mount back on it. With it all clamped together, obviously you get a bit more space so we can get that top mount on. And I'll put a towel over the front wing just to protect the paintwork in case it gets scratched. When you put these back together, what I've done is I've jacked up the bottom to lift it so it meets the top. And there's a little key here and this needs to go through this hole that way you know that it's correctly aligned so i'm going to put the three nuts on the top of here and then i'll button it all up down below one little hint when you come to tighten up all the bolts again these ones down here 
and the, the ones that go in the body. Just actually put a jack under the hub and lift it so that everything is in its settled place and tighten it at that point. Don't try and tighten it up when it's at its full extent. Actually tighten it up whilst it's supported and it's at the correct height. And you'll find everything just feels a lot better. It's the same, particularly if you're fitting anti-roll bars and things like that. So the other job to do with this car, um, the ABS sensor, front, near, uh, offside front ABS sensor, keeps throwing an error, particularly when it's wet. I don't know if you can see this, but it's tied together and then it's split. The wiring split, someone's Tried the best to tape it together and then zip tie it on. So we've got a new one to go on there. On the back of the hub, the ABS sensor sits in here and it's held in place by a little Allen key head bolt there. So you take the bolt out and then theory you can pull the sensor away. That pulled out, you can see the sensor and the torn wheel flies past this, picks up a magnetic signal. At the other end, well, actually you follow the wire up, that's the broken wire. At the other end, it goes into this box here so it goes into these clamps here and then it goes into this box this box opens with two little clips at the bottom lifts up and pe this piece comes out and this is where it plugs into the loom so we pull that down and then it'll slide apart there we go that sense pulled apart so this is the loom of the car and then this goes down through these clamps so we just that out there, cut that zip tie off, and then we put the new one on. That's the old sensor out and on the floor. We've got our new sensor here. Screw this end in the back of the hub, and the other grey end plugs into the connector up there. And this little bit here pushes in to there. So there we go, ABS lights off, springs on. That's it for this video. We've got a couple more jobs to do. So there will be another part to this before it goes in for MOT, where who knows what will happen. Hopefully it'll be all right, but uh, you never know. Um, so whilst I was doing the spring, um, I completely mullered the drop link to the anti-roll bar. So we'll have to get a new one of those. And the bolt that holds the bottom of the shock absorber on, I should probably have not touched it at all, but that's all threaded. So I'm going to just cut that off and get a new one of those as well. Um, other than that, there's a blow in the exhaust, so I'm going to get that welded up, and then uh, I've got a full set of tyres for it as well. But it's sitting at a much more sensible level now, and there's no lights on the dashboard at all, which is uh, pretty unheard of for a BMW, I think. So, all in all, not a bad day spannering. Thank you for watching.